What's going on guys? Chris Ramirez here on video number three of the series. And in this series, this video of the series, I uh, noticed that on video one and two, there were some missing factors on the process of everything. Video one, I didn't exactly have the, uh, the cell phone screen mirrorer uh, in play for, for you to watch what I did in video one. However, what I what, what I was showing on video one still is relevant and video two still are, still is relevant, okay? But what what I did fail to mention in, vi in video one and two is how you know if a product is selling on Amazon, what sales rank number to look for. In this video, I will address it, okay? So we're looking for college books. We know college books are profitable, so we'll go to it. I'm already logged into my eBay account. I got my phone on standby for when the time comes. Okay, um, we're gonna do engineering. So engineering. Actually, let's do. Um, we're gonna do one that that was one that's that shows a lot of good book. Um, and yeah, we'll just do engineering. Engineering. I mean, another thing you can do is you can go to Google. And type in things like uh, pop popular college college books college books. You can like even do that. Uh, look at popular college books, and it gives you like stuff you can check to scan with your Amazon app. Um, I don't know if college books or not. The deal, the mistake. Okay, that looks like romance novels on the cover. <laughs> So I don't know what the deal is with this. No, I don't want that to happen. I mean, there's a few things you could do. We're just going to go ahead and just do engineering. And, uh, let's see. Nah, well, I'll just keep it simple. We're going to do biology. Basically, you just kind of look on Google for the uh, a list of college uh, topics. And you can go into eBay and then put it in. So I'm going to put biology for training purposes, okay? And I'm going to show you the process here. Before I start whipping up the phone, whipping out my phone and scanning all the front covers of the book, we have to set our filters, okay? So let's set our filters right quick. I am looking for textbooks, uh, preferably hardcover. Let me put textbooks. Usually there's an option for hardcover. I think, I think now that I click textbooks, it's going to be... And then we could choose hardcover. Here we go. I want hardcover books. Okay. And let's see. I want, let's see, we got to make sure it's, I, I'm not going to choose what subject. I'm just going to leave it at open subject. Okay. And let's see. No, we want it. You can do new or used. I'm just going to leave those both unchecked so that it's showing uh, both. All right, and I normally do between five and eight, or five and seven, five and eight. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do five and eight, five dollars, five dollars to eight dollars. Uh, I'm gonna do it to where it's buy it now, so we can just buy it now. It's not auctions. You could do auctions and get more more ROI, but you have to wait towards the end of the auctions, which is the part I don't like. Okay, but auctions you can do good with auctions too. Okay, so we did uh, buy it now. It looks like it didn't register. It didn't register the, uh, let's see, the uh, numbers. Let's see, so we got five, let's see, five and eight. I gotta press enter, that's what it was. I didn't press enter. Okay, so let's recap the filters. It's a hardcover book, it's a textbook. Okay, go down the line, down the line, down the line. I got it between five and eight dollars. I'm willing to pay, buy it now. I'm gonna put US only, or you could do it within your country only i do us only because there's a lot of tension going on with the U with the uh, with other countries and all this coronavirus stuff you could do you know go worldwide with this you could if you want to um i like it stuff all right see i got that i got that um you don't have to put the us guys i just that's just a preference of mine okay i'm just letting you know that so you can check the filters here you see worldwide North America within default, you know, I'm just putting US only. You don't have to, but you do want to put free shipping, okay? Click on free shipping, and that should be all the filters. So, let, let, again, let's recap right quick. I'm getting hardcover, a textbook. I'm not worried about the years. I'm not worried about the subjects. I'm not worried about certain preferences to 
uh, guaranteed delivery, not worried about conditions so much. Um, I chose US, you could choose whatever as far as item location. Delivery options, I always put free shipping. So we're good to go right here, okay? So now I'm about to whip up my phone. And you'll notice you'll see the book that just recently came in. I got it right here showing up. Um, this is only showing 30 results, so we'll probably have to move on to the next thing. But I'm going to show you the process anyway because I never got a chance to really show you with the, with the uh, cell phone screen mirror of me doing the actions. Okay, so let me do this. Let me pull up my Amazon app right quick. Okay, now that my Amazon app is pulled up, what I'll do is I'll go to this uh, icon. If you notice on the app, there's like at the top, right far top right to the cell phone screen where the time is where it says a uh, uh, 1 23 a.m there's like a little camera icon you click on that and it's going to bring up this little prompt like this okay and what i'll do is i'll scan the covers of the images here i, I don't actually click through to the books i'll scan so what i'll do is i'll go to it like this and watch what it does it pulls up data okay and if you look at the Amazon app, it's showing you. Like, you see how it's got the sales rank. The first book is biology. It's selling for $114.51. Um, but look at the sales rank. The sales rank's 2467000 So that would be more of a no-go. You want to look at, usually I'll typically look at what the sales rank number is. And I'll look for things like, like this sales rank right here. It's uh, $679.00. I mean, that's not dollar, sorry, 679,000 uh, sales rank, okay? So this one, I think, is the one I actually favored. Let me click through to it. I believe that's the one I favorited, and I already listed. Um, It might not be. See, yeah, I think it is, because this one says $26. Yeah, this is the one, because it says, you see how it says favored it? I got it clicked, and it clicked off favorite, and I clicked it, and it's favored it. So this is already listed. So that's giving you an example. You see how I see the sales rank is... On this one right here, I'm gonna click through it again, and you'll see the sales rank at the very top where it says Biology Sixth Edition. It says 679,751 uh, number. That means sales rank. Okay, pretty much my my there's, the rule of thumb is different for different people. The rule of thumb I typically typically go for is in the 500,000 ish range. It could be over or under. Um, and I'll get the book. It's selling, okay? That's all that means, it's selling. Now, the higher the number is, the longer it will take to sell, okay? That's all that's saying. So we already did this book. So let's do another topic, okay? Well, actually, let's go down the line. Now that I, now I'm here, what I'll do is I'll, while I'm on this prompt on my cell phone, I'll hit the camera icon again at the, uh, the far top right of the cell phone, the little camera icon again, okay? And just go down the line. And we'll do is just point to the image like this, and it'll scan it, and it'll pull up data, okay? And we're looking, and we're seeing the, all the sales ranks are really, really high, okay? So I typically, I'll look at the, the sales rank number first before I cross-examine the books, okay? And let's see, that book was that, actually, these books look kind of identical, the one at the very bottom on the cell phone, and the one I scanned it, but it looks a little different. So I know it's not the same book. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll keep it moving. I'll hit the little camera icon again, go back to this prompt and you just keep going down the line, guys, keep going down the line. All right. So we'll point to this one. It's going to scan the database on Amazon. All right. Now, if it doesn't scan, keep it moving. If it doesn't catch, all right, you go back, you just keep it moving. All right. And uh, there's no images here. Okay, this book looks like it's got some wear. It's, they're selling for eight bucks. Let's see what the deal is with this used book. Okay, you could sell books with wear now. So you know you don't write off all the books. Okay, so let's look at the sales ranks first. Okay, so we got an eight million, a one million sales rank, a three million sales rank, a one uh, million sales rank. These are all a no go, like hardcore no go. They're, the sales ranks too high. The books would take too long to sell. Okay, so that being said, we hit the little camera icon again on the cell phone, goes back to this prompt, and we just keep moving down the line, keep moving down the line. Okay, here's another book. So we just point to it, let the database pull it, it pulls the data. All right, now we're looking, and first thing is sales rank. There's only two showing here, the sales rank's too high. Keep it moving, hit the camera icon. All right, and you just keep it moving, keep it moving. Here's this one, so we're going to point to it. It's going to scan from the database. It pulls up the data. It actually recognizes the front cover of these books, guys. 
All right, and we'll see. We're looking at um, sales rank here. Look, the first book has a hundred. 44,000 sales rank. That's incredible, guys. So what I'll do is I'll click. It's not really showing a price here. What I'll do is I'll click through to see what the deal is, what it's paying, what it's cost, uh, how much is uh, it going for. Okay, as you can see, for we could sell it as new, and it's $109 for new. For See, for used, it's going for $10.87. So I would order this book, okay, guys? So we got a good one here that we could sell. So on the cell phone, I would hit favorite. Now you see how the sales rank is 144,966. Uh, That's an immaculate sales rank. That's awesome. Like I say about 500,000 is a good number to float around, whether it's over some or under. Like uh, something, there's sometimes I'll have, I'll get a book that's in a 700,000 sales rank. But if you can get a book under 500,000 sales rank, you're, you're, that means it's just going to move faster. That's all that number means. It means it dictates how fast the book will move, how fast the book will sell. Okay, guys, so this book is a winner in my eyes. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll order this book. So I'm going to click through on here. I already favorited it on the app. And I'll order it. So buy it now. Uh, it says hardcover in good condition. Now, it may I may have to sell it for use. So I'm going to order this book, and in the next video in the series, I, when this book comes in, I will go ahead and follow the prompts with you in video number four, okay? So let me go ahead and buy this book. Now, and that's it. We're pretty much done here. I favorited it, the, uh, the uh, book that I'm about to buy. So it's like I favored it, then I purchased the book. It's selling for $109 new. It has an excellent sales rank, so that means the book's going to move fast. And this is profit. This is all profit. No matter what, I'm showing you how to be in profit no matter what. Okay, if the condition's not great or not, you're going to be in profit no matter what. But the key to this is volume, 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 meaning you have to keep putting books in inventory, okay, guys, for you to start seeing sales increase, okay, for the sales to start increasing. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and buy this book, but first I'm going to sign off and say before I uh, let you know to if you really like this content, to like this video, it would really help the channel grow tremendously. And to subscribe to the channel, tick that bell icon if you're really loving this Amazon uh, college book process. You see how simple it is, guys. Like, I just use the camera on my phone and scan the cover. I don't want to do no crazy, nothing all fancy and crazy. It's as simple as that. All you need is your laptop and your cell phone with the Amazon app installed. Okay, guys? Um... There'll be more videos on other tools as far as Chrome goes, but this is really all you need as far as getting your Amazon book sales going in motion. Now, don't just buy one or two or three books. That's it and leave it at that because it's you're not going to make much money. OK, you need to keep getting books and in inventory, keep the flow going. And I'm going to tell you right now. In this closet, I got a ton of books. OK, um, I see if, see if I can. Uh, I'll do that in another video, but there's a book in, in this closet. There's a big stack of books and in the, the inventory is growing. So at some point I will need a warehouse for the books. OK, guys. So like I said, subscribe to the uh, to the uh, channel. Take that bell icon. Leave some comments, guys. Uh, comment of anything you want me to cover that I may have missed. I pretty much feel like I've covered what I missed on the first two videos. And this is the third video of the series. That said, love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm going to go ahead and order this book, and in video four, I'm going to show you the condition of the book like I did in video two, and we'll just keep this process going. We're going to keep the series going. Let's get this money. Peace.